Hello there everybody, Basil from Techno Talk here once again with another tutorial, but this is actually not going to be a Java tutorial. Um, Java is probably my favorite programming language and it's the one that I know the most of, but I have been learning a few of the basics of C++, which is another very common programming language, so I thought might as well share some of those basics with you. Now the first step to getting into C++ programming is that you're going to need a compiler, and uh, you might as well get an IDE for C++ at the same time, so I'm going to teach you how to download dev C++. So go to your Google search and just type in dev C++ and the first link you're going to get is going to be to bloodshed.net uh, so go ahead and click that scroll down until you see uh, downloads and it's going to say go to downloads page and then you're going to go and you're going to find a download section and you're going to want to download the first one so you say download from source forge I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to do it again but pretty much you download that you install it and you're going to have dev C++ which is going to be this and it's going to be your interface for creating C++ programs so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say file new source file and it's going to give it to you and it's not going to be saved but what you can do is you can say file save as and then uh, you might want to save it into a place where you can keep track of all your C++ files. I have a folder called C++ files. And I'm so let's go ahead and call this uh, file, like, I don't know, uh, tutorial. And then the default save type is going to be C++ source files. So go ahead and keep that and then save. So let's go ahead and start programming in C++. C++ is actually, actually has a lot in common with Java, especially because they are both object-oriented programs, uh, not object-oriented programs, object-oriented programming languages. Um, so hopefully you already know some Java, like you've seen some of my other tutorials or some other tutorials that someone else has posted, because Java is a bit easier to learn, so a lot of people learn that first. So I suggest you do that. I'm going to try to operate under the assumption that you guys are not familiar with Java so I don't miss anything but there's a chance that I might and it's my recommendation that you learn Java first and you don't need to get become an expert at Java just go watch a couple of my tutorials and then you'll be ready for this so now there are a couple things in C++ that you're going to need to keep in mind that you need to always have pretty much because these are things that if you don't have it's just not gonna work so at the top of every um, C++ program you're going to need the following you're gonna need to have pound sign, sorry, not pound Q, pound sign, include, and then in between your greater than and less than, which you're going to be using a lot in C++, you're going to write IO, uh, what, it's not in between, IO string, string I can't freaking spell, okay, so this is something that you're just going to need to have at the top of any C++ uh, program that you make, and the pound include is somewhat similar to the import uh, that Java has. The only difference is that you have to always import IOStream or include IOStream, unlike Java where there is no default thing that you have to import. Um, but for example, like if you wanted to get the math class in Java, that would be import java.lang.math, but in C++ you would say include CMath. So it's pretty much this is the format that you would use. Um, but we're not going to do that right now. Well, first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to make our main function and what a function is in C++ is it's actually pretty much the exact same thing as a method in Java it's just called a function instead of a method um, but pretty much just like in Java you're going to have a main function just like in Java you have a main method so in order to do that we're going to have to say int which again if you know Java is familiar and then you're going to say main and then empty parameters parameters are the same thing as uh, parentheses and then you're just going to create a block of code so, so far, well, you're probably looking at this and you're thinking, wow, Basil, this looks pretty familiar. I mean, yeah, there's more to write. In Java, you'd say uh, <coughs> public static void main string args, but in general terms, int looks familiar, parameters are familiar, and uh, open and close braces are familiar. It's exactly the kind of stuff that you use in Java. And that's, again, an example of how uh, similar Java and C++ are. So we're going to uh, start with again showing another common thing that you're going to need to have pretty much at the beginning of every um, function you create which you just have to mem memorize is using namespace std and that stands for standard and this is just something you're gonna have to have in order for C++ to um, use all of its standard um, features so you're just gonna have to have that 
Now you can have the uh, main block of code uh, that your program is going to run. So let's go ahead and start with the simplest of things, which is input and output. So the first thing, let's start with output. Now in Java, you have this complicated system, dot out, dot print line, whatever. In C++, all you have to write is C out. And uh, this is just the command that tells it it needs to output something. And then after that, you're going to have two less than signs, which is just going to be, if you look at it even visually, it's pretty much like outputting. It's pushing forward. Um, that was stupid. <laughs> what you're going to actually output onto the screen. And then here you would have your... Uh, your quotation marks and then say you want to say hello my name is Bill Bo Baggins and then at the end of this line just like in Java again I'm referencing Java a lot because I'm trying to get across how knowing Java is going to help you learn C++ you would need a semicolon so right now let's run this actually let's not run this because I just realized there's more stuff that you're going to need to have at the end, this is just you need to have at the end of your main function in order to um, in order for it to work. The first thing is uh, system, and then in your parameters, you would need to have in, in quotation marks pause. And what this is going to do is uh, if you ran your program without system pause here, it would only flash up for a second. Pause tells your uh, tells C plus plus run the code, but then keep it up there so that pause so that I can actually see what my program is doing. And then after this, you're going to need to have return zero, and that's because if you know Java again, uh, you have a return type. The only problem is that in Java you have like void or whatever, but in for a main function in C++, you need to actually return, and you're going to return zero, and this is, it's not actually going to do anything, this is just how it runs your program. So this is what you would need, and uh, now in order to run this, let's go ahead and go up here and click save, and then go to execute, and say compile and run, and it'll compile it, and then it should pop up your, uh, your command prompt. And uh, it'll say, hello, my name is Bilbo Baggins. Now, all this extra crap right here, you probably won't have that. Yours will just say, press any key to continue. This is just because I'm using a, uh, I'm actually on a Mac, but I'm using a virtual machine. So it's, command prompt is kind of messed up. But just focus on this. My hello, my name is Bilbo Baggins. And uh, yeah, so that's all for this tutorial. Make sure you check back to see some more C++ tutorials and see some Java tutorials. And I'm also going to be doing some XHTML tutorials. So I'm having a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.